Yo, what's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And let's talk about what you've been asking me for all week and I've been ignoring. Is your request for me to talk about Charlemagne and Drake at the club? The reason why is because it was like a Drake weekend full of videos and that, that I was even tired of bringing up Drake. I'm like, my goodness. I gotta talk about Drake again? What did he do now? His daddy making a record? Now I gotta talk about his daddy record? <laughs> I'm like, man, everything was revolving around Drake. So I'm like, I gotta space this out. And plus with this thing, I, I knew what it was when it was done. So I'm like, oh, okay, I know what this is. But what people didn't know, that this wasn't Drake's idea. This comes from Charlemagne the God. This is his idea. Because here's the thing. Charlemagne didn't respond. He, he matter of fact, he didn't show up to work the next day. People was, man, what's up? Charlemagne didn't show up, man. He was hanging out with Drake and got sick. I said, no, he didn't. This is this is all a stage. And then he came back and didn't even mention it. So the whole week go through, no word from the situation whatsoever by Charlemagne. He knew he would be asked that Monday about it. And then finally, a week later, here comes Vlad with the exclusive. Not to mention, wasn't Vlad on the show a couple of days ago? Yeah. And Vlad is cool, but I see why Vlad stays off the camera. <laughs> it's terrifying to look at. But <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Vlad. But um, anyway, Charlemagne decides to see that Drake's coming into town. He was sends his assistant out. Ooh, buy the ace the ace's uh champagne bottle. Goes out and buy these champagne bottles. Send it the note to Drake saying the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And set it up where they could take this picture and send it over there because of his issue with Funk Master Flex. Now, Flex, we've already addressed. Charlemagne. Hey, it is what it is. The guy is what you thought he was. He's just as phony as a $2 bill. And this is just another way for him to get publicity. And this is exactly what I was telling you about with Hot 9-7 and Against the Breakfast Club. Stupid people react to stuff like that. And we, uh, you wouldn't see Ebro and them and Rosenberg doing that. You might see it from Flex. Because to me, I'm still amazed Flex is still able to walk. Everywhere he go, he should be getting kicked right in his butt. Boom! For that Tupac statement. He'd be, man, I was just, man, I apologize. Not to me. Boom! <laughs> Everywhere he go. Midwest, it don't matter. He shouldn't be just be banned from Jersey. He needs to get kicked everywhere he go. So, anyway, Charlemagne does that. I looked at it as, it's weak. If, if you're going at Funkmaster Flex, it's a ha-ha-ha, okay, I get it. You know, because you don't like Funkmaster Flex, too. We get it. You don't like Hot 9-7. But for Drake, it's like, do you really need to do this? You didn't already bash Hot 9-7 all weekend. Now it's like you don't want to overkill the situation. You know? So, I don't know. To me, I really just didn't care. Truthfully, when y'all was asking me about it. Like, what you think? What you think? What you think? So, what's up? What's up? I'm like, dude, I truly, my real emotions, that I don't have any emotions. I don't really care. I don't care enough. And that's kind of the thing here. It was a bunch of nothing 
It was something used to get some media attention, some ha ha moments, so people can come over to the Breakfast Club and hear about Charlemagne hanging out with Trey. So, and then I guess Blacks cut him a check and they let him on the Breakfast Club show or whatever, and that was the deal. So he gets the exclusive, but other than that, it's like exclusive to what? <laughs> I mean, I'm. I'm exhausted dealing with the nonsense in the game. It's just so much of it that it's just you don't know what's real and what's fake no more. Well, I do because I don't. I don't even have time to entertain it. This is why I don't watch these type of shows. The people was like, "You gotta see Charlemagne in the Breakfast Club." They interviewed Doctor Uma Farrakhan and. I'm like, are any of those guys hip hop? Has Farrakhan produced a rap album? What rap was he promoting? I'm like, what is this? Prince Akeem was in the, the public enemy era. That time is over. What statements that he's going to make that they couldn't screw up? That's a political interview. Social interview. Has nothing to do with the state of hip hop. Them talking about how bad in the conditions of hip hop is and, and they're saying things that people need to hear, of course. But there's a lot of talk, very little action. That's the problem with that. I'd rather hear some people that worked on songs. I want to see engineers. I want to see people who producers who produce records. What was going on in the studio? How did this song come about? How did they get this sound? I want to hear hip hop. I'm working on this project with this artist. This artist needs to do this. I want to hear hip hop from a hip hop station. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just me. So, if I watch an interview with a producer, and I'm watching them talking about music and what's going on and how the creative process work, I enjoy more watching what Hot 97 did interviewing a producer, rather than that same producer being on The Breakfast Club. And some people say, entertaining. Look. It's okay. You're more entertained with a lot of silliness and goofiness. Then yeah, go on over there. Watch The Breakfast Club. No problem. Knock yourself out. I like information. That's entertaining to me. To know something. That's entertaining to me. You know, you can tell the people that are, who are smart from the people who are not smart. You see them on, on YouTube all the time. The people who are not smart, you can be telling them like, Hey, you know, this is what's happening. I want to educate you guys. And you're there giving them some information to help better their life. And they look at it, that person and go, <laughs> Look at this socks. <laughs> this socks are goofy. <laughs> look at his nose. His nose look like a freight train. <laughs> you know, not, none of, nothing you're saying in the focus is sinking in. Because you're too stupid to process the information. So, I'm aware that 90% of the internet is stupid. We all know that. But when you have people that cater to that 90%, I'm just pointing out the fact that that's what they do. You could choose to go and continue, and if you enjoy it, you love it, that's fine. A lot of people watch Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> A lot of people. Can you imagine the mindset of a person that will sit there and watch fake arguments and fake fights? Over and over again. From people who are not stars. They're just idiots. If you're going to do that, I'd rather y'all put on tights, go in the ring and start fighting each other and try to pin somebody for a three count. Because that's all it is, is WWE without the actual fighting in the ring. I'm like, throw a WrestleMania. Love and hip-hop WrestleMania. 
Y'all throw the reunion stuff out there. And the women who are on the ball, who are doing something in life, have you noticed they don't pay attention to that stuff? But I got to take this call. Hello? Hello?